right, people. We back. We back. And alongside with me is Ritu Lilith, as usual. I'm Sean Lilith. This episode of Book Chat is brought to you by, uh, not brought to you by, but is brought to you on Audible, iTunes, and YouTube. So please subscribe, like if you like this video. And today we're reviewing Peter V. Brett's Wadded Man. It has been requested um, to us, uh, you know, and Bartholomew Blunderbuss has been very insistent. So, without further ado, let's start reviewing this book, shall we? Yes. Um, so, uh, let's start with uh, how similar it is to The Way of Kings. Okay. Not much. You... You find it, uh, you think it's not much, uh, I thought it was, I thought it was. It was very similar to Way of Kings. No, it isn't. Not to my, uh, see, Wadded Man is a totally different thing. Mm -hmm. In the sense you don't have these friendly spirits or antagonist spirits and all that kind of thing. You have Coralings in this book. You have demons. Basically. Yeah, they're from the uh, world's core, so they're called corelings, which I found were, was quite a nice touch. You know, it, it, the demon aspect is... Yeah, why it's not interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Okay, uh, the series uh, has three protagonists, Arlen, Leisha, and Roger. Okay. Alan, you know, is your typical protagonist, except for the, uh, you know, he goes through the mo most of my transformation. Um, Leisha, and these three stories are not intersecting in this book. You read the whole series, so I don't know, I've read uh, the first book. So the whole, uh, the three series, uh, the three stories are not intersecting until the final bit of the book, which kept... And you, you just left me hanging again and again, you know. Actually, he was building up a series. I also thought that he should have started with uh, just Arlen and uh, this thing, just Arlen, and uh, given other people walk in paths. What he has, uh, what he has done in the entire series. Now it's a spoiler because I'm just reviewing Wadded Man over here, but I've read all the five books. The sixth book has just come out. So I have to read the core as yet. And I find that his style is like this, that he is picking up one main character. And through that one main character, he is trying to fill in backgrounds. OK, um, just the first book. Uh, you know, I did not like this book. Initially, I really did not like this book. But uh, when I came, uh, but uh, I had to be honest, I have to, uh, you know, step away from it. We actually had recorded a uh, podcast for this uh, uh, Wadded Man earlier, but since m my review was so biased and <laughs> so disappointed <laughs> at that time that I did not think it was fair to review it right there and then, you know. So well, Actually, what happened was that you read it very soon after that other one, way, way of Kings. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. I don't know. Okay, uh, but once I uh, pulled myself back from the book and looked at it objectively, I, I was like, uh, what, am, what am I comparing this to? What, what books am I comparing this wadded man to? And they were all the best books. So you can't just uh, trash on a book just like that. So I had to come back to it. However, I have to say, the, for just the first book, because I, don't, I haven't read the whole series, just the first book, the Leisha virgin angle was painful. Roger were, was the, entertaining. But he's a one-trick pony. Uh, actually... He might evolve. They've all evolved yeah. so much by the end. Yes, but just if you're picking up this as one book, just one book, then it's a very simplistic story. Yes, and the final battle was very nice, but left me unfulfilled. The final battle is not a final battle, it's just a cliffhanger for the next book. 
Oh, yeah. I, I... And, uh, you know, by the time you've read uh, five books, that is three books and two novellas, by that time, you realize that this guy does like to leave people hanging on a cliffhanger, which is very annoying. I mean, even as an as a writer, I will remind myself not to do that because it, it's very tempting, understood, but the reader feels cheated. I think, no, I don't think that. If it's a good cliffhanger, you know uh, how Kelkate did it in Free the Darkness. Mm-hmm. He convert it's it was like one book converted into two, yet both the books left us fulfilled. It was a cliffhanger of sorts, or it was a cliffhanger, but it, it there was a conclusion to the book. That's one thing I, I think good writers do, and. Uh, Cliffhangers are the cheeky way to hide behind, like, buy my next book. That annoys me. That annoys you? Um, but it works. You have... <laughs> Please you subscribe to this channel <laughs> for the rest of the review. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let's, uh, let's start with the characters. Arlen. You know, the, the, when you are starting with a character who is like Roger, just two years old, when you, uh, when you begin the book, and uh, Arlen, who's just about five to six years old, then you have to, you know, mentally consider that this kid is going through so much shit, and you can expect a lot of major character flaws and changes. Well, that is where, you know, I get that. I get all that. I, okay, fine. Let's cut the chit chat. You're giving into, uh, getting into particular details of the book, which will give all uh, spoilers, which I don't want to do. Okay. So, He's dissing me. Y- yes, <laughs> I am. So, uh, what would you read this book? Okay. You read the series. I've read the series. I'll read the book. I'll read the book, you read the series. All right? Uh, the series, I will re- rate it as four and a half. Mm-hmm, four and a half. That's, that's quite a good rating. That's quite a good rating. Because uh, the first book, uh, I left, I, it left me with no uh, inclination to read the next a uh, few chapters, uh, you, uh, next few books. You know, I, it was like, it's going to be slow and I'm going to wait for it to build up. And I saw the plot coming, so I would give it three. Because, and that's a big three because I am comparing this to Brandon Sanderson, uh, Sanders, Sanderson, or uh, because I find it very similar to The Way of Kings Part 1. It actually isn't. I, I went to this book with that fear at the back of the mind that uh, am I also going to read, a, uh, I'm reading a, and also ran. That kind of a, a thing I went to and I found it surprisingly different. Okay, so... You, oh. The humor is earth, earthy, it's very sexual. The characters, none of them are good. Where was the humor in Warded Man? Leisha and her mother's interactions no, the, uh, the herbalist. The, yeah, the herbalist. Okay, but most of the time, Alan was hitting on himself. Roger was being a one-trick pony and uh, trying to be a street urchin. Leisha was going through her uh, effed up life, which I do not want to get into because that would be a spoiler. Okay, this, uh, I have already said the virgin angle was p- a pain. So already, uh, already I'm going... Uh, where? 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 I, Leisha and her mother, that is an interaction. And Leisha and the herbalist. Uh, also, when... Uh, Leisha is, and her mother did not have any comical interaction. The, she, you they both, left it in the middle, I know. By the end, the, the, by ha, the ha, end ha, of the book. Listen, the end of the book ends with Leisha facing down her mother, saying, no, I'm sticking over here. 
and telling her, you can stay in your, uh, uh, in your house. These are my people. That's how it yeah, ends. That's so how where it is the humor? Tell me, where's the humor? Not in this book. You are going through the whole series and maybe they uh, bond and maybe they have a nice thing, but not in this book. This book is Spider-Man, the first part, you know, the amazing it's one. Not, it's not such a sob story. I found it very entertaining. Hold on. This, this book, let me finish my thought. This book is Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man, first part. You know, it's all to build up to the next book, which might or might not be that really good to pull off this book. But apparently it is because, lo and behold, she loves the whole series. I am waiting for the core to come on Audible. All right, <laughs> let's end it. Let's end it. You like this series? I, not so much because I was burned by the first book. So, uh, I think... We can agree to disagree on this. I would still ask you to read the series. Ooh, I, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody's going to force me to do this. <laughs> okay. I am asking you very politely. Whatever. This <laughs> podcast is available on Audioboom, iTunes and YouTube. Uh, please subscribe. Please like this video if you liked it. Liked our review. Um, we are going to be coming up with more and more uh, reviews very soon because we took a break to read all the books. So thanks for waiting for us and we'll get back more reviews to you as soon as we can. She is Ritu Lalit. Uh, on Twitter handle, what's Phoenix it? R2. Phoenix R2. It's right up there. Mm -hmm. I'm Ishan Lalit. My name is up there too. <laughs> uh, please follow us on Twitter. Uh, and I think we covered it all. So, bye-bye. Yeah.